to the average Joe. We'll take you where you need to go. There's plenty of excitement here, so come explore with us. We can always show you something new from theme parks to restaurant reviews. So join us at the average Joe Florida. Hello, folks, and welcome to this episode of the Average Joe Florida coming to you today from the Polynesian Resort. It is our return to dinner at the Polynesian. We are going to Ohana's. So we're going to go try it. We've seen other uh, vloggers as their opinions of the new Ohana dinner, and we've seen what it is, but we've not tasted it yet. So this will be our uh, taste test of the new Ohana's dinner, and uh, we'll see. We'll check it out, and we'll give you an honest opinion. Now, we love the old Ohana's. There's no denying it. The old Ohana's was the best. That chicken was favorite. top. Oh, the peel and eat shrimp, you love those things, and the peanut sauce. So this is, uh, this is going to be different. We will, we'll see. Uh, in the past, we come down for a week or two's vacation. We always had a couple reservations at Ohana's. That's how much we love this restaurant. And actually, Ohana's, we were there the very last night of operation before the big shutdown last year. We so we were, like, we were there, one of the last customers in. So uh, we're going to go see if uh, this holds up. Now, again, like everybody else, we're hoping this is only temporary and we'll go back to the old, uh, the old style of food. But we don't know. But for right now, we're going to go see uh, how this is. So come on along. Let's go check out the Polynesian, which also reopened this week. So we'll try to look around the Polynesian and see what's new. So we're outside in the parking lot, you can see the pork carnage is done. They, it looks like they got all the uh, thatching up on the roof there. They're still working on the monorail station. Monorail station is supposed to open by the second or third week of August right now. The lobby's reopened. Check-in has moved back. Guest services has moved back. And the main building is operational. There we can see it has reopened again. You can check in at the main building. They do have the temporary scrim up here, but uh, you go through, you check in, Bell Services is there. They'll take your luggage and get you to your room. So uh, the thatching is up there. The monorail station is still under heavy construction, obviously, but it's coming along. It's coming along nicely. Yeah, got some landscaping work done. Drainage is in. This is all paved and sealed. It's nice. Aloha. Have that done by the end of the week. Oh, I wouldn't doubt that at all, the way they move around here. And the construction on the monorail station. Polynesian is still as gorgeous as ever. They're going through and doing the Moana re-theming of the rooms, which is moving ahead and should all be done in a few weeks. Let's go check around back and see how the construction's going, shall we? Oh. There's the monorail tracks. So the construction's work happening out front. You enter through the side door to the great ceremonial house. Mickey says, stay magical. And the lobby is reopened. Nice and cool in here, huh? Yes, it is. It's a hot one outside. And they still have the windows covered over there because the construction is still happening outside. But you can see, guest services has moved back into the main ceremony house. That's good. That's a step in the right direction. I still love the fact they use the Maui statue with the hard hat and the hammer here. These things are the doors to the back and pardon our appearance. And there's what's going to look like when it's done. I'd like that picture framed personally for my wall at home. That'd be really nice. I wish they sold that. The great statue of Maui. Everybody's got to get a little Maui. There we go. There's Maui. There's Maui. There's Maui. Oh. And I got some lace. You got she can't lace. be at the poly without lace. All right. And she said you had to put mine on. And I had to put yours on because it would be bad luck to do it yourself. Oh, you don't want to do that. So I'll put yours on. There, there we, go. we go. You've got your lay Thank on. Thank you. We're doing some photos in front of Maui here. This Maui's always fun. Did you see the picture over there? I did. I saw the picture over there and I said I would buy that picture that was for sale and frame it and put it in my home. <laughs> that picture's awesome. Are they look fake. <laughs> the flowers fake? No, they're completely real. Oh! 100% real. I was looking inside that red thing and I saw some blue when I thought, oh, it's just stuffed in there. Yeah, yeah, definitely 100% real. Okay. <laughs> Any artwork before you get on the elevator here? Uh, well, that guy. That guy's a little naked, I think, too. All right, so we made it to the second floor here. This is the artwork as you leave the elevator. The God of Thunder is an artist. The God of Thunder Done painted this. Thor. Thor. Thor painted this. He's very that's, good. That's very impressive. When Thor. he became thick Thor, he was just sitting around. He took up. Yeah. Well, it's amazing. They're working on the sign, and all the horticulture is in. They it's reopened. 
the main uh, area where the kids watch the movies and have the fire dancer. When we were here last week, that was a backhoe digging in that spot down there where all that horticulture net sign is. So impressive how quickly they've done things. This gentleman down here is finishing up the sign for the marina. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, he is. He's painting it. He's got his little paintbrush. Very cool. It's starting to look like the Polynesian again. My Getting favorite back to normal. resort. Absolutely. And there's the pineapple lanai where you can get... Uh, dole, dole whips. Dole whips. I, I wonder if you can get a taco dole whip there. I don't know. I'm not sure. They move so fast when they do things around here, though. It's incredible. They do. Our table is ready. It's the Tambu Lounge over here. And now we're headed into Ohana's. Back to Ohana's. Okay, we're getting ready to walk in. Love that guy around here. How are we doing today? Good, good. And then I have a drink menu for you guys. Okay. And then um, Cousin Tafik will be your server for today. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Ready? I'm back at Ohana's. Bring out the food. Yes. So this is dinner. It's an early dinner. It's right around 4.30 or so, so it's not very crowded right now, but this is the only reservation we could get. Yep. We did this the day it opened, and we got what we could. So we'll be back in a week or two to try the breakfast, which I'm dying to try, so we'll be definitely doing that in a week or so. But uh, for now, we're here for dinner. We have a pretty good seat here. Yeah, can't complain. You can see right over there. You want a poop we drink? I am pretty happy. I don't drink very often, but we're celebrating being back at Ohana's, so I'm going to get a raspberry mojito. There's the whole drink menu, if you can see it. You can zoom in on it. garden salad right here, citrus vinaigrette, okay, for your salad. Uh, we have papaya and coconut bread and honey butter. You're going to love it. Chicken wings, chicken right wings. here. Not chicken wings. No change. Right. Second really recipe right though, there. Right. Yes, it is. All right, great. And right here we have our dumplings. And enjoy. Perfect. Thank you so much. Enjoy for the moment. Have a good move. All right. So there's the pot stickers, the papaya bread, papaya coconut bread with honey butter, salad with the ginger lime dressing, and there's those wings. The wings should be the same. So we're gonna dig in and enjoy them, right? So how are the new rolls? Papaya coconut scones. I'm not a papaya fan personally, but I'll try them. I don't really know that I taste the papaya, but it tastes fruity. But I always found scones to be a little dry. Yeah. And this is not the exception. So, so the videos we saw of the salad over the past couple weeks showed a nice green salad, and this seems to be mostly kale. So nothing wrong with that. A lot of people like kale, it's perfectly fine. We're not huge kale fans, unfortunately. No. So we'll We'll pick around it, but I wish it was just regular salad greens and not all kale like that. Yeah, I don't like kale too much. Yeah. My raspberry mojito has arrived. My raspberry mojito has arrived. I don't know, my tie on the brain. Your mojito is here. Raspberry mojito. mojito. Good. Sweet. Very good, I'm glad you got it. The wings and the pot stickers are as I remember, and they're very good. Unfortunately, they don't have the dipping sauces anymore, the peanut sauce or anything, so I can't dip the pot stickers or anything, but the wings and the pot stickers themselves are very good. So just as a side note, I hadn't mentioned it, the uh, sauces they used to give you, the peanut sauce and the other sauce are gone as well. But if you asked, which we did, they brought us a whole plate of the teriyaki sauce, which is what they coat the steak in before they grill it up there. So from the steak station, so you just had to ask, and they bring you the teriyaki sauce. So you had some ready, right? And it was really good? It's good. Good. You can kind of see Cinderella Castle in the distance, and I know you can see the train station. All across the Seven Seas Lagoon, the boat going by. So they're still more than accommodating. We asked for some more wings, and they were happy to bring us more wings out. So, and I know if I asked for more, they'd bring more. And we have some teriyaki sauce now, but the wings have a good flavor, that honey coriander. Just put a little bit of this in there. Yeah, there is.
really good though. The rest of the food has arrived. There's the new kielbasa, which has been added. There's the chicken with chimichurri sauce. I'm not a chimichurri fan, so I'll be scraping that off to try some of it. And there's those noodles. Try not to get any chimichurri sauce in those noodles. And there is the uh, shrimp. shrimp. Now, I don't really like shrimp Souffle. in a, a warm sauce. Souffle. So we'll see. So I just want the shrimp. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. But we'll see how it goes. We're going to be honest. It's an honest review. We said that. So we'll dig into this and let you know how it goes. But the, but the wings? Wings are excellent. Excellent. I could just make a meal on those. And the noodles are definitely a win, that's for sure. The noodles are like the old stuff. Good to see them again. Try the shrimp. All right, we're going to try the shrimp. Now, some sort of, he called it a seafood casserole. It's just a cheesy casserole with shrimp in it. I like the seasoning they had on the other shrimp. It was more like a steak seasoning. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was grilled, right? Yeah, grilled seasoning. Um, I like that much better than this. I don't, I don't. You're not careful. I would prefer the other one. I don't hate it. But, but it's not your style. It's not what you'd expect at Ohana's. No, I would really like the grilled shrimp back. No, we'll hope, maybe someday, but. Maybe. And a lot of entertainment has returned. coconut races or anything. How are we doing so far? I'm waiting on the steak. We're good. The sausage is good. The sausage are good? Good. Mm -hmm. well, I'm not a fan of chimichurri sauce, so I have to try some of that chicken without the chimichurri sauce, and it's nice enough to grab me some. And he brought us more wings, so you can't go wrong with chicken wings. Bring me steak and chicken wings, and I'll be happy all night long with some noodles. Well, the chicken thigh and the chicken leg you brought with the chimichurri tastes just like basic roasted chicken you get at any Disney restaurant. Um, I definitely, I, again, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I want something boneless with the chicken. Boneless chicken back on the skewer like the beef. If they're cooking the beef, they can cook the chicken. If they want to serve it in the skillet, that's fine. But my opinion is why fix what's not broken with Ohana's? It's an expensive restaurant. We know it. And I, I, I'll be honest, you know, we're huge Disney fans, you know that, but I mean, they really need to go back to the way they were. This is, the steak has come out, and it's in a little, uh, what do you call these? Not a pan, it's in a uh, skillet. Um, it's no longer served on the actual spear, on the kebab. So we're going to try it and see, I, and uh, we'll go from there. So it does have the teriyaki glaze on it, so I'm going to dig in and try a piece of the steak, and I'll let you know. The best thing I like here is the sauce. Okay, well, you like the kielbasa, you like kielbasa. Yeah, yeah I do. Okay, so cut into the steak, and the steak is a medium well to well, not quite well, medium well. So I prefer a steak medium, um, maybe a little less than medium at times, but so this is definitely a medium well. I'm sure you can ask them if you want something a little less done, but I'll eat this, I'm not going to complain, but um, it's, it's a medium well serving of the steak. Yeah, it's about a medium, medium well, I would say, but it's it's not as bad. It's definitely tender. There's no doubt about that. It's a nice tender piece of steak. Um, but yeah, so if you do like it rarer, you're going to have to ask. And I'm sure they'll do it for you. More noodles. So I give a thumbs up to the noodles. Give a thumbs up to the steak. It's pretty good. Pot stickers are good, and the chicken wings are excellent. He did say they changed the way they cooked the chicken wings to make them gluten-free for everybody. So that's pretty cool. So the chicken wings are gluten-free now. And, uh, yeah. But they got, they got some work to do. <laughs> Let's get back to the old way with the spears, with the chicken and the shrimp and stuff, guys. Let's do it. Come on, we can do it. You hear me, guys? We can do it. So I think we are tapped out from dinner here. We are. We are. We're stuffed. The broccolini was a no-go. The shrimp was a definite no-go. Not impressed. The steak was okay. Um, the chicken wings were fantastic. And that chicken with the chimichurri sauce was definitely a no-go. So if I hadn't been here before, I don't know how good Ohana's could be. I probably say that's a pretty good meal. It was nice. But knowing what it could be um, leads me to say that, come on, Ohana's, get it together. Let's get back. To Let's go back to where we were, please, Ohana. You can do it. We know you can. Chicken breast on a skewer, and that's fine if they can't come around with the skewers and they can put it in right, a, the trays. A little, but there's uh, no reason you can't plate. put a piece of chicken breast or chicken thigh, boneless, right, right. on there with the teriyaki yeah. sauce. And the same with shrimp. And the same with the shrimp. So hopefully this is just temporary. We're going to come to breakfast in a couple weeks. We'll try that again. I know that hasn't changed at all because it's pretty much the same way it was, except there's no characters now. So the price is half of what it was because there's no characters. But 
Um, all right, let's wait for dessert to come on out. So our server, who is fantastic, brought up the dessert, which is a familiar bread pudding. hasn't changed, thank goodness. And uh, ice cream, but it has salted caramel now instead of banana caramel. Salted caramel. Now, the banana caramel was excellent, but I do know salted caramel is very good, too. And you like salted My caramel favorite. a lot, I know. And he brought out a couple of Rice Krispie treats, because everybody's a kid here, he said. That was nice to bring us those out. So we're going to dig in, and we're going to have some dessert at Ohana. So, the salted caramel, I like so much better than the banana. The banana is excellent, don't get me wrong, but the salted... Is just to die for. Our server is top notch here too, by the way. That is fantastic. Okay, I'll show you the main lobby here. Looking down, things are busier. The sushi bar is open down there. The coffee lounge. Oh, they took the tarps off the roof. You can see out the windows again, and it's raining hard up there. Yeah. Well, this was the, the resort of blue tarps left when we were here. Remember the old one that covered blue tarps? And now it is pouring rain. Look at that. That's such a cool look. It is. That's neat. The wind is whipping up out there. It is. The leaves are blowing down. Everybody's out of the pool because of the rain. Yeah, light in a second. You see the castle yeah. way over there in the distance in the gray. I know it's tough to see on camera. That's so crazy. This was all being torn up with a bulldozer last time we were here, about a week or two ago. Yeah. Now it's all done and planted. That's so fast how they move so quick. It's raining out there. It's raining hard. It's raining, raining hard. Right in the door, it's raining out of something. You can see back there. But it's raining. All right, that's going to wrap up our visit here to Ohana's. Uh, the meal was fine. You heard our opinions about the things that should be changed, should go back, shouldn't remain the way they are, that's for sure. Um, but hopefully, when this passes, they'll return to normal operations. We can only hope. Because, uh, again, if you'd never eaten there, you wouldn't know what you're missing. But. Uh, those of us who have eaten there know what we're missing. It's a step in a different direction right now, so yeah, uh, no. I don't think we'll be coming back until they change things back, unfortunately. And we were we were definitely dedicated Ohana fans for a number of years, so they gotta they gotta make some corrections up there. But uh, the server was excellent; we can't complain about that whatsoever. So, all right, folks, take care of yourselves. Uh, subscribe, share us on social media, give us a big thumbs up. Any questions, ask down below. We'll be happy to answer for you honestly. And remember, don't be average.